To start work the Gantt chart, we have to define some variables also to make this one uh, dynamic with us. So basically, our Gantt is a rectangle, but with a different width. So I will remove this part here. And uh, the height we can say it will be 30. Okay, let's remove this one. And the width could be uh, could be 100, could be 50, whatever the width. As we agree this SVG, uh, we can write below this one and keep the next part is clear for our work. Okay, so this width will be the duration. So we have to get the duration from there. So I will give you uh, now some of the best practice. Uh, that could help you start this correctly. I start by my own self-learning. I had some mistakes that I have to read, uh, to read, uh, to recorrect in my code to make more flexible. So one of the best practice to define the the basic variable you have. Basic variable is the start, finish, the activity name. So I will uh, write here variable called start equal to start. Since we are using dex, uh, sorry, I mean a measure, not a column, then we have to define like minimum. Sorry, this variable is not accepted, so we can uh, plan start equal to uh, minimum of the start then variable called pl finish equal to minimum uh, that's uh, not minimum maximum finish okay let's also add one more variable is the activity uh, equal to activity or what I call it oh, sorry Max, maximum activity or people one uh, item okay. this is our main bell second step let's imagine the width 100 could be very uh, less for if you have a big prop a big uh, project a big project uh, what I find is suitable we can start with uh, variable I will write which is 1000 okay if the width is 100 then your width here has uh, sorry if the width is 1000 so also as a best bracket increase a little bit so we can consider like 1200 and the height if we uh, plan to use only one gantt chart or sorry one bar so if the bar uh, could be 30 so you can make it 40 and the few box the few box for now we can remove it for information you don't have to bother yourself about by, by the view box for now okay let's check here if I, I write here the width is uh, to write a variable inside the SVG code you have to first keep the single code then double code then n and w and again and then double code and keep the single code let's see our shape so this is our shape uh, you start to be frustrated very small actually why we start using the SVG inside the Power BI because we have the capability 
to change this one. The height I will define as 40. The width we can make it 400. You see now it's more clear and I will add here item. Let's make our, uh, let's add more data to our uh, query here. This is a basic uh, activity, okay, and close and apply. So we have as a three items similar each other. Yes, because we don't have a variable. Since we have this one here, and خلاص, we define the width. Let's make it in the beginning. Let's start to define the total duration. So the total duration of this project is, let's call here uh, total duration. Why well, it's important because this, and I, I will tell you, let's make it TD because we're going to use it a lot. The total duration is what is the date difference between start this part of the video I recorded after I finished uh, the original video uh, to, to give you the correct formula rather than uh, give you wrong formula and then fix at the end of the video then you will waste your time. So the total duration as we mentioned is, uh, is the total duration for all the project. That means we have to evaluate under a certain, uh, a certain filter which is all. To write this, we have to use calculate and then date difference uh, between the date difference between what I use uh, at the beginning, the plan start and plan finish. However, it didn't give me the correct values. So the correct way is to use minimum start, then, then maximum finish and day. After closing this one, we will uh, use all to uh, get this equation evaluate all the table of table one and also we can if we have a lot of tables then we can uh, select table one this is the end of uh, this correction let's back to our original video so this total duration uh, let's say this 45 supposed to equal to the 1000 now you have to get the idea so if you have something uh, 30 day we have to divide by uh, the 45 and then multiply by the 1000 by this way we can get the duration let's do this simple calculation now okay uh, we will uh, write variable activity duration duration equal to it will be the difference between uh, let's call the day different between the PL start and the PL finish in days in days and then uh, let's multiply by let's multiply this by uh, by what by TD sorry let's divide this by TD and divide and sorry and multiply by W now if I have activity duration and I decide to use activity duration here for example let's see what the output oh we have yes it worked but no it didn't work because the start date is the same so first we need to get the the the, the or the the first day of the project and each activity start date and let's call this one start line to do this let's define a start to the project so we can make variable start start date equal to we can define as 
uh, calculate minimum of start all like this then we can add here after or before the activity duration variable start line let's call it like this equal to date different date different between what between the uh, our start date and the the PL start in days then we have to divide by what by uh, we have to divide by the total duration and then multiply all of this by W also uh, if, if you didn't define the W at the beginning uh, then if you change for any reason the width of your visual or part uh, this will you have to change in all so it is another good variable okay how to uh, how to do this if you remember uh, we have uh, our visual start at zero zero so rather than zero zero we can define don't start at zero start after this duration which is a sl so i will change this one double quote and sl uh, double quote and sorry and first then double quote so if you want to add color here uh, let's open our friend uh, this side and actually it's a fill so here you will get more detail about the fill and the stroke and all of this so fill we can uh, just write fill this is the fill so just write fill and select a color how to do this I will add to this code fill and replace the double code with a single code don't forget or you will end up with hundreds of errors uh, now if you want to replace this purple with something else let's open for example if you want to use uh, this color uh, we can copy here this one and replace this purple with this color but if you click enter it will not work so you have to reuse this hashtag with percentage to three this is how it reads the hashtag maybe so this is your color okay what if you want to add strokes then stroke equal clack why it didn't work let's see the stroke ah, okay you have to define also the stroke width so I will write here stroke width uh, 2 pixel only okay, I have this strong stroke see you have here plaque I believe this is enough for this video next video we are going to continue with our SVG Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you are looking to take your learning to next level, I invite you to check our premium online course Power PI for project and control in addition to other advanced courses. Through dozens of in-depth video lessons and hand-on exercise, my goal to empower you with practical skills that can be immediately applied. As a member, you also will receive a lifetime access so you can review lessons at any time, in addition to the updates. Visit now planxcg.com to check the latest offer. Also, you can find there our PlanX Excel 2, which is very helpful for every planning engineer, and you can find a different post in a different subject. Thank you again for your watching.